you watch a bunch of TikTok shorts, Instagram reel, when there's a video telling you about learning the skills or doing anything, like there's a difficulty level, there's always a difficulty level of Asian representing, representing the highest level of anything that you wanted to learn. It's quite funny, but somehow it's quite true. Like growing up in Asian culture, like with my parents, we have some sort of like mindset inside of us that if you're ever doing bad, you're getting scolded. If you get, you're doing something good, you're not going to get any praises, but instead your parent expected you to do the same thing over and over again for the next hundred years. And there's even a Chinese verbs that like even specifically target for those who are overly confident and not staying humble. It's called to fall in love with yourself. If you ever get hit by the, this statement by other person, just know that it's sarcastic and it's nothing to feel good or to feel proud about if you get ever get told about it. And why is that? Like even the publish of the book Ego is Your Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Like after this book was published, everyone started to click like, oh, we have to stay humble. But part of us, like me and you, we know that it's quite bullshit. So we're going to start at doing a mental exercise. So go ahead with me for a second. I want you to imagine the reason why I started to self-improvement. Can you recall the specific moment why you started to self-improvement, why you wanted to do everything like you're doing right now? If you're ever in this kind of space, all the hard work you put in, the exercise, blood, sweat, tears, why are you doing this in the first place? It's not for money. It's not for your own personal growth. It's not for your friend. It's not for your family. It's because you wanted to be better than the other people. You want to be better than the other person. There's an ego inside it. You have to admit, like, even in competition, you wanted to win people. Is that an ego? Yes, that's an ego. But now is this society conditioning us that you're supposed to feel humble. You're supposed not to brag about your success. You're not supposed to tell other people that you're determined to win them. And that's why those toxic masculinity terms came out, YouTube videos, those negativity things came out and they attract lots of views and subscribers. That's how our society is. The more negative you are, the more attention you get. So what's your purpose of starting self-improvement? There's a bunch of layers and the most outer layers is most probably me and you, we wanted to be better than other person. So once we peel the layer over, there's a bunch of core purpose inside. Maybe we wanted to feel acknowledged we want to get praises. We want to get love from our parents. We wanted to protect our family to provide. That's a small inner purpose. But our outer layer, everything, the reason why we are doing this right now is because we wanted to be better than person, than other people. Like, you don't want to see yourself jacking off again. You don't want to see your flabby physiques. You don't want to like keep on losing focus when you're talking to other people, not holding eye contact with the girl that you like. It's because there's a situation that you are in, which is so bad enough that you wanted to change, that causes you to have this kind of tremendous change over the past years. If you are brave enough, try this. You go open a YouTube account, right? You post something that you are feel proud of. Maybe a little achievement on your sports, your piano career, you reading this chapter, you feel some sort of insight about it. You go post on YouTube and you see what happens. You go post on Instagram Reels or even TikTok, you publish it. Some sort of negativity will involve it. Like some people will say that it's just nothing to be proud of and there's no comment and some sort of dislike will happen. Like you're sharing your achievement, you feel proud about it, some people will hate on you about it. Like you're not supposed to, in this society, to brag about your success, so don't tell people what you feel. Everyone should keep for themselves and be secretive about it because everyone so sensitive nowadays. If you don't trust me, go watch all those interviews when they're interviewing those mega superstars like LeBron James or uh, football stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi. They wanted to be better than other person. They keep on improving every single day. Even Ronaldo will say that he's fully confident in himself. He don't compare humans when he's, he's the Lions, like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Like everyone who are hyper successful, they confident in themselves. They trust in themselves and they believe that they can do it. If you have this kind of pussy mindset, that everyone happy together, everyone collaborate, everyone split the rewards, everyone be happy, you're not going to win anything. Like you're not going to win like big rewards. You're not going to be like total dominate in that field that you wanted to be. After you realize that some part of you, you have some sort of ego, what should you do next? The most important thing is for you to acknowledge that feeling. You have to admit that you have some sort of ego. You wanted to be better than me. You wanted to be better than a content creator, self-improvement content creator, Hali Abdal, Hamza, Cole Hastings. You wanted to be better than them. 
you want to improve yourself, even create a YouTube channel, you want to beat them, you want to beat me. We are all competing and this is time for you to use your ego to improving. And always keep in mind that it doesn't matter you are doing self-improvement at all, you are not special. We are not special. We are just a Jeffrey who suddenly partake on this journey of wanting to improve ourselves. We are not a new type of prototype of humans, generation or young men who are strong, who are determined. We are just a normal person. And with that in mind, we have to learn of keeping the student mindset to continuously learn from other people. And of course, there's some sort of humbleness, but don't forget to be confident in yourself. There's a quote that say, you attract who you are. You being confident, you attract the good outcome. Always be confident in yourself, but don't be too overly ego. Like everyone would spurs out their ego onto other people. They blatantly tell people that their success and boast about it to other people and feeling so highly about themselves. That's not how you're supposed to use ego. Instead, use the ego onto yourself inside when there's no one in the room. When there's no one, when you're grinding, when you're working hard on your business, working hard on your studies, use that ego to fill yourself. Make it as a motivation that you wanted to beat other people. Grind every single day. Use that ego in mind. Use that ego as a fill to motivate yourself to work hard on your business, to work hard on your studies, to improve yourself. But when you go interact with other people, don't mention about it. Like it's time for you to use some sort of like communication skill, like you learn reading a book, and to not use your ego onto other people. That should be kept onto you and only you. Let me translate the statement of we should be humble. We should translate as we should not lose our curiosity of wanting to learn. We have to keep on adopting those student mindset to keep on learning, to improve ourselves. And with ego in mind, that's what's going to boost ourselves to improve every single day. Improve 1% is not enough to be able to beat your competition. You have to boost 20%, 30% to work harder on yourself, to set bigger goals and achieve that goals. Use that ego in mind, don't neglect that feeling. If you ever feel bad about feeling ego, that's what something's wrong. There's something's wrong. You shouldn't feel bad about your emotion. Instead, you should acknowledge it. Either you bypass the emotion, maybe you're feeling horny, right? You shouldn't and you shouldn't like use that emotion, right? Bypass the emotion. Acknowledge it and let it go. But like emotion like ego. Acknowledge that ego and feel it inside you. Use it as motivation to work hard on yourself. That's how you really work together with ego. And to not ignore it and if you're feeling empty for yourself. And even if you achieve the success, you won't feel happy. Like you won't feel confident. You feel you feel some sort of like pressure for you to keep on maintaining it. So do the hard work, especially when you feel like it. Mwah.